The president's son now under quarantine after testing positive for COVID-19. You may have seen it by now, but uh, apparently I got the Rona. Donald Trump Jr. says he is asymptomatic, joining a list of at least three lower level White House aides this week testing positive, as well as another famous son, Andrew Giuliani, a special assistant to the president. After more than a week off stage, President Trump again falsely claiming an election victory during a briefing on prescription drug pricing Friday. Big Pharma ran millions of dollars of negative advertisements against me during the campaign which I won, by the way. Still refusing to swallow the bitter pill of his election defeat, hosting a group of Michigan Republican lawmakers at the White House. Mr. Trump lost that state by more than 150,000 votes and has repeatedly complained of fraud there without evidence. After the meeting, the lawmakers said they spoke to the president about COVID relief and said that they had, quote, not yet been made aware of any information that would change the outcome of the election in Michigan. And while a person close to the president tells NBC News Mr. Trump knows he lost, the White House remains publicly dug in. I believe President Trump will have a, a second term. This morning, 23 of the 35 legal challenges by the president and local Republicans have already been denied, dismissed, settled or withdrawn, according to an NBC News count. This as Georgia's governor certified election results there late Friday after a hand recount. Biden winning the state by 12,284 votes. Two runoff races there on January 5th will decide control of the Senate, drawing Vice President Pence to campaign in the state, hoping to keep the president's base engaged. Like all of you, I'm here because I stand with President Donald Trump. But I'm also here because President Trump and I stand with Senator David Perdue and Senator Kelly Leffler. This morning, the president plans to participate in the G20 summit with world leaders. He will do so virtually. The actual gatherings expected to be hosted by Saudi Arabia, another casualty of the pandemic. Peter and Kristen. Another virtual gathering. All right, Garrett Hake, thank you for that report.